Hey guys, my name's Carl Golden and welcome to Golden Studios. Today, we're looking at top 10 songs that use a talk box. So in this video, I'm using the Banshee 2, which is by Rocktron. As you can see, it's a very simple pedal. You've got your gain, your tone, and your output, and a couple other buttons to mess around with. On the side, you've got your power, EXT speaker, two amp. The other side, your input for your guitar, and you've got an effects loop, so you can put your pedals into this. The Banshee 2 comes with this pedal. It comes with a plastic pipe, which you plug into this hole here. So this is like an amplifier. This sends the sound up to the pipe and then you want to put your pipe on a mic stand like I have done. It comes with this Velcro thing here that you can connect to your mic. You also need a microphone. So I'm using an SM57. So the idea is with a talk box, the sound comes out through this tube out of here. So the sound comes out of the pipe into your mouth and then you're opening and closing it like a wah-wah. So the reason you need a microphone is to capture the sound here. You don't capture the sound from an amp. So to record a talk box, you don't actually need an amplifier, you just need this. This is a sensor, your amplifier, and this is the speaker. That's how a uh, talk box works. This also comes with a power pack as well. It's actually surprisingly difficult to master a talk box. So with the song California Love, I actually found it very hard to enunciate the California, because you're not actually singing at all. I thought you were singing into the pipe, but that would mean that the microphone would pick up your vocals. 
So the idea is you've got to enunciate your words very clearly while having a pipe in your mouth and try not to get your tongue in the way of the hole. Otherwise, no sound comes out. So, okay. California, without any words, here we go. It's hard to explain, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Another thing I found very difficult when uh, using the talk box is actually not being able to look at my guitar and play the notes. It's actually a really cool way of practicing because you are almost singing and playing the notes to try and hear the pitch, but you're not actually singing at all. That makes no sense, but it's a lot of fun. So the guitar in this video was a Shergold Masquerader limited edition black sparkle guitar. So can you see this? Does that stay in focus? I don't know if that captures on camera, but it's really cool. It's so sparkly. It's sparkly on the back. Lock in tuners, yeah. So I've got my guitar going into my talk box, the input of that. Then from the output of this, it's going into my preamp live. From my preamp live, I've got the output going into my interface, which is a Focusrite 2R2 Scarlet, then into my door, which is Logic Pro X. So the reason I've got the preamp live plugged in as well is so I also capture the sound of my guitar, just the normal gain sound as well. So I'll double up, I'll have the talk box sound and the normal guitar sound. The guitar is plugged into this, the sound is coming out of the hole into my mouth. It's like a gain kind of sound. And then my mouth, <laughs> then I'm opening and closing my mouth with the sound coming out of a pipe and then I'm capturing it with a microphone. So basically I'm recording two tracks. I'm using a microphone to record my talk box and using the preamp live to record my normal guitar sound. I probably made that really complicated, but I hope you understand. Thanks so much to these guys. These are my patrons. They support me for either five or seven dollars a month. In return, they get backing tracks and tabs for my previous videos, my future videos, and this particular video as well. If you're in a $7 a month tier, you guarantee that your suggestion gets in my next 100 riffs or my next 100 acoustic songs. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you soon for another video. Take care. <laughs>